What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex, my name is Travis. Today we're going to do an update on all the tanks here in the fish room. And uh, last week I posted on the community um, tab, I guess you want to call it here on YouTube, asking you guys what did you want to see. It was like a little poll between uh, this type of video, a rambling video, and the pros and cons of quarantine. Now it's really close between the quarantine and this video, so don't worry, I will still make that video. I'll probably just do it next week. And uh, yeah, so... Here we're going to go ahead and look at all the tanks. We have uh, three salt water, one fresh water, and of course we have the quarantine system. And uh, I'm going to go through all of them, tell you what's going on, what projects, and what's what's basically going to happen in the future for those systems. So um, 300 gallon is going to be our first one, and it looks pretty decent. Uh, it's definitely getting full. i got to come in here and start trimming. But the only problem is I've kind of ran out of room to put coral. I have all these racks down here. We have one on the back. But don't worry, you guys have been saying add a frag tank to this setup and I ordered one a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago and it will be here soon. It's going to be 14 inches wide by 20 inches long and it's going to have a grid style frag rack in it. So basically I do sell all the coral in this tank, well at least most of it on the website and um, it's, it's it works out well because I can sell it from the tank and I can just you know cut it, put it down here, it heals. But I'm more into the WYSIWYG type of um, selling and you guys will notice that when you go to the website that I've actually added a lot more WYSIWYG stuff and that is what you see is what you get so once that new frag tank comes in and gets set up we'll have the grid style uh, type of frag rack and I'll go ahead and put all the coral down there and then add it to the website underneath uh, fish of hex personal coral as WYSIWYG so once that's done I'll announce a video because we're gonna do a whole build video on that frag tank anyways so once that's done I'll announce that everything is up and you guys will be able to purchase coral. What you see is what you get. And I really, really like that style of selling coral. Um, I just feel that it's more successful and it's a lot easier when you're online trying to buy coral to know exactly what you are actually purchasing instead of getting, you know, some little nub when you thought you were getting a three inch frag or something like that. So yeah, tank is doing quite well. Now, a couple changes that I've already made. I actually removed uh, most of the A cans from this rock going to be putting some acros there instead. I like acans, but I like acros more. So I just moved most of them uh, throughout the tank. I think we have one over here. Yeah. So, you know, just put them in different spots, see how they do. Uh, I'm not really an acan fan. I just kind of had them and put them in there. But uh, yeah, they're in here still. And um, I'm trying to see if I can find another one. Uh, I don't know where the heck I put them. But uh, yeah, so the next step, once that frag tank is up, I'm going to go ahead and remove some duplicates. So we have uh, this green stag, excuse me, fish. That guy is coming out because we already have a whole colony of it up here. So we don't need it there. And then this whole colony to the left-hand side of fish of hex. Let me see if I can finger it. Here we go. And that whole colony is going to be gone to that fish of hex melee because we have a whole colony up here. So getting rid of the duplicates, going to put in some higher-end frags. Uh, I know where that uh, fish of hex melee is, we're going to be putting a Walt Disney grow that out and then of course sell it on the website once it's decent size and it it's going to be uh you know beneficial to look good in the tank but also make some money on it as well but uh yeah so let's go ahead and move over to the frag tank a little dark so speaking of WYSIWYG with the previous system um, i have converted this whole top low boy to what you see is what you get now um from i guess this point over there is uh that stuff's already on the website it's kind of dark but yeah, that stuff's already on the website. I still got to put all this coral on. I have yet to do it. Uh, my plan is to do it this weekend. We got a lot of A cans, recordias, hammers, torches, and uh, just some miscellaneous. So, like I said, WYSIWYG is my style of selling. So I'm going to just have to get through and get that stuff on the website. It does take a little bit more time. It's, a, it's a quite a bit more work, but uh, it's worth it because it does sell. And I like to show you guys what you're actually purchasing. So check back Monday. All that stuff should be on there by then. Now the bottom tank is going to be just what I sell, I still sell like multiples and zoas and bird's nests and all sorts of stuff that I can fit down here. That is not exactly WYSIWYG, but once something sells up top, I tend to come down here, pick out a nice frag and then sell it as a WYSIWYG. Um, and that seems to be doing quite well um, for that setup. And uh, now it's gonna be hard to see, but I do have, yeah, it's gonna be dark. Yeah, it's too dark, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'll probably just take the filter off and come back. Um, I'll do that real quick. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I just figured I'd take that filter off. It's a little bit easier to see. The refugium, the 40-gallon refugium on this thing is a beast. It's actually, it still looks dark with how much macroalgae is in here. But um, this stuff is selling relatively quickly online, and I haven't thrown any of it out yet, which is nice. So 
my whole plan with this system is I have the fox face up top, the, of course the hippo tank on the bottom, and a couple damsels in there. But anyways, I feed the tank heavily to not only keep the nutrients high so the coral are happy, but to also feed the macroalgae, which sells, like I said, relatively quickly online. I can't believe how dark that is, regardless of what I do. Ooh, ATO. Let's hear it. Let's enjoy the old times. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, so it, it sells like crazy. And I really like being able to provide you guys with that stuff. Because when I was looking for it, when I first started, couldn't find it. The local fish store didn't have it. So having it here, ready to go, is awesome. And I also have it down here in my 300-gallon um, sump, which I just kind of, when this fills up, I just take it out, put it into the 40-gallon, and just keep selling it from there. So, yeah, definitely like all of that. Everything down here is good. Of course, we have the dose doser. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Who knows? I make too many videos to remember. Uh, dosing two part, our Curve 9 Plus uh, protein skimmer, filter socks. Everything's good. Only running carbon on this system. And uh, yeah, it's finally done. It took a little while, especially getting that lighting. The lighting, of course, was expensive with those AP 700s. Even getting them at wholesale price, it was still ridiculous. But uh, yeah, love the setup takes care of itself and I really like selling coral and I like having the two different tanks to give you guys the option of having uh, the personal stuff but also being able to get stuff that I get from local hobbyists and also transship so let's go ahead and move on to the next system now we're gonna oh yeah might as well back up naked quarantine system doing my yearly maintenance I mentioned this on Instagram basically just going through and cleaning all the tanks the only one that's not being cleaned is the fresh water so you guys can see it I have two Oscars in there. Just got, got these guys yesterday. They came in as a random. I basically had a choice of picking out a specific that was the size that was too big for the one that was in the, uh, in the tank already, or just getting two three inch randoms, and it came out good. They came in as a tiger and a albino tiger, which works out great because we have the uh, red Oscar in here already, same exact size, and he's in there with a couple buddies which will be removed as soon as I put the other two Oscars in. Uh, he can't really eat any of the fish in here right now because he's too uh, too small, but uh, he's got an awesome personality. Now, I did originally state that I only wanted two Oscars in this tank, but, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have three for now, and then I'll have to upgrade the tank to a 220 at some point. But uh, three Oscars that are roughly three inches right now, they'll be in here for about a year, year and a half. Kind of depends on how much I feed them. Now this tank is definitely a lot different than what you guys saw before. I'll post a picture of what it was before. Now when it comes to the plants, I love planted tanks, but this tank became too much work on top of everything I have going on here in the fish room. Every day I had to come in here and kind of uh, clean out the overflow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kept on getting clogged, both sides, no matter what I did. Then I had to cut the uh, plants and just throwing out handfuls after handfuls after handfuls of plants. Um, I couldn't get around to get them on the website and people don't really buy plants from a saltwater guy they just don't do it so it wasn't really going to be something i could do successfully so i didn't bother and i like this now it's like i said it's a little darker but i really like just kind of the overall look it's going to be nice with the three oscars and they'll get big they'll be you know they'll have their oscar personalities and it'd be just a cool chill tank now uh we're going to go ahead and move over to the uh clownfish tank and that'll be our last setup that we look at for today all right, so here we are, the 30-gallon bubble tip tank. And uh, you guys can see there's a lot more clowns than I had before. Right now I have a total of six. We have three mochas, two oscillaris, and then a, uh, I think it's a snowflake, I want to say. And then there is about uh, 12 of the rose bubbles and one long tentacle here. Now, there's definitely a glare from the window. Um, I have a hard time dialing in the color of these because they're like a orangish, reddish, greenish color. And getting that to come out on the filter is just impossible. So I'll probably just post a picture of what they actually look like. But, uh, oh, you can see that one decided to take a trip. Now, I just adjusted the MP10 probably uh, early, early this morning, I would say. Yeah, maybe like 7 o'clock. What's it, like 1 in the afternoon. So everybody's kind of closed up, and you can see that he's already jumped ship. I'm going to have to get him, see if he gets back up on the rock so it doesn't get sucked into the power head. Um, but I want a little bit more flow, so I adjusted it. Probably could have done it yesterday. That way they looked a little full, but um, everybody's pretty good. The aggression isn't too, too bad. Um, it definitely, with the more clowns that I had in here, the aggression is a lot less. You would think that the little guys got beat up. Nobody bothers them. Everybody seems to be going after the uh, white one, but it's not too bad. She goes into the anemone and, and hangs out, and 
they all kind of go in and out throughout the day. I think they uh, think I'm going to feed them or something, but um, yeah. So they just, he just, she just does it all day. Little Twitch factory. Um, but yeah, I love the setup. I don't really talk about it much on the channel because it's just self-sustained. I do a 20% water change once per month. I target feed the bubble tips every single day and then the clowns just kind of pick off of it. And uh, they split, they grow, and I'm hoping to add a couple more different types at some point. Uh, it's just kind of hard to find ones that I like. And then, uh, you know, just let the tank do its own thing. It's got the uh, protein skimmer on the back as well as the um, 302 Aquatics algae scrubber and everything seems to be uh, working out quite well. But uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. I do have one tank upstairs. It's a shrimp tank. Um, I don't really uh, mess with it much. It's just in the kitchen. The shrimp do their thing. I got a couple neons. I'll show you guys that here probably in the next month or so. I just planted some grass, so it's starting to grow out, and uh, I'll show you guys that at some point. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next week with another one. Peace.